Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the pride of South Laredo. Dr. Leo G. Cigarroas High School, 30th Commencement Exercises for the Class of 2016. At this time, I invite everyone to please stand for the presentation of colors by the Junior ROTC Color Guard under the direction of Lieutenant Colonel Ricky Kyle and Sergeant First Class Timothy W. Scott. Our national anthem will be played by Carlos Alvarado Jr. The Pledge of Allegiance will be recited by Sofia Medina. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, please be seated. In consideration of others, during this formal presentation, I ask for everyone to please turn off their cellular phones and refrain from loud shouting or noisemakers for the benefit of everyone. I would now like to introduce our platform honored guest. Honored guest, please stand and be recognized as I call your names. The Honorable Dr. Cecilia May Moreno. 
LISD Board President. The Honorable Hector J. Noyola, LISD Board Vice President. The Honorable Jesus Martinez, LISD Board Secretary. The Honorable Jose A. Valdez, LISD Board Trustee. The Honorable Ricardo Garza, LISD Board of Trustees. The Honorable Hector J. Garcia, LISD Board of Trustees. The Honorable Jose R. Perez, Jr., LISD Board of Trustees. Dr. A. Marcus Nelson, Superintendent of Schools. Flora Ayala, Chief Financial Officer. Mike Munua, Chief Technology Officer. Veronica Castillon, Director of Communications. Mirtala Ramirez, Director of Elementary Education. Oscar Perez, Director of Secondary Education. Ángel Velázquez, Executive Director of Plant Facilities and Support Services. Maggie Martinez, Executive Director of Student Services. Roberta Ramirez, Chief of Staff, Executive Director of Human Resources. Dr. Silvia Rios, Executive Director of Curriculum and Instruction. Mr. Alfredo Perez, Director of Savas Perez Magnet School of Engineering and Technology. Ms. Jerry Arredondo, Director of Dennis D. Cantu Health Science Magnet. <laughs> Dr. Marta Villarreal, Director of Vidal M. Trevino School of Communications and Fine Arts. <laughs> Mr. Robert Cheney, Principal of Lara Academy. <laughs> Mr. Ricardo Palomo, LISD Chief of Police. Ms. Melissa Valdez, Director of Non-Traditional High School. Roger Garcia, Director of Career and Technology. Rosina Silva, Director of Guidance and Counseling. Dr. and Mrs. Leo G. Cigarroa, Jr. Mrs. Lourdes Perez and Mr. Martin Perez, parents of Salutatorian. <laughs> Mrs. San Juanita Juarez and Mr. Ruben Nunez, parents of Valedictorian. <laughs> Cigarroa High School Administration, Career Academic Deans, Mr. Armando Molina. <laughs> Assistant Principal, Ms. Amy Casares. Assistant Principal, Mr. Matias Hidrogo III. <laughs> Assistant Principal, Mr. Eduardo Contreras. <laughs> Testing Facilitator, Mr. Omar Gonzalez. <laughs> Counselors, Special Population Counselors, Ms. Olga Perez. <laughs> Substance Abuse Counselor, Ms. Claudia Garza. At-risk counselor, Ms. Rebecca Gonzalez. <laughs> Magnet scholarship counselor, Ms. Araceli Arambide. <laughs> Freshman counselor, Ms. Elsa Llano. <laughs> Sophomore counselor, Ms. Maria Teresa Gonzalez. <laughs> Junior counselor, head counselor, Ms. Sandra Esparza. <laughs> Senior counselor, Ms. Elizabeth Reese. Senior class sponsor, Ms. Irma Lopez. And my name is Laura Flores, proud principal, proud principal of Dr. Leo G. Cigarroa High School. At this time, I am very proud to recognize our faculty and general staff. Please stand. Faculty and general staff, please stand. Thank you for all that you do.
It is also my pleasure and honor to introduce the parents of the graduates. Parents, please stand and be recognized. Thank you for your continued support throughout your child's high school years. Thank you. Please be seated. Last but not least, we must not forget to recognize grandparents, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, and other significant relatives and friends. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. I would now like to call our guest speaker to deliver a message to our students. Please help me welcome the Honorable Jose Perez, LISD Board of Trustees. Uh, 
As I go along, you know, I get into the dirt, all my chores, on the ranch, many the cows, many the chickens, many the hogs, taking care of the land, cleaning up uh, the, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, the water tanks, all these kinds of things. As I go about 10 years old, they begin taking me to work. If you know where Elvin J is, where El Cinezo is, you know, where Rio Bravo is, those were fields that grew cattle, onions, tomatoes. And every time that we got to summer this time, you know, everybody say, I'm going to the uh, recreational center. I'm going to, uh, you know, to the camp, summer camp. We would go to work. And it was from sundown to sundown. During the entire uh, time, they took us to Corpus. You know, in Corpus, there's a lot of beautiful meetings. You know, but we were just very close to the meeting because they took us to big cotton. You know, and if you know the community that is there, well, you can know more or less what time it was. A hundred degrees to us. After that, they would make us rest. You know, and I would go and work, you know, you know, until one time we had uh, the people from the labor force or the law that went to the uh, field and told us, hey, you cannot work in the field. You have and you must go to school. Since that time, we never went back to work. But as I grew up in the middle school, high school, uh, I noticed that uh, there were a bunch of one of us that always got special classes. For example, we had some of you and some of you uh, studying English. We were in general biology. Some of us studied algebra. I was in general math. And they looked around and they said, we must be a special, a special class, a special school, you know. But the turning point in my life was when uh, the senior year, the senior year we had a counselor, Mrs. Rogers, and, uh, you know, the senior year you start getting applications because you're going to go into college, and they took us around. And then uh, we went to the, the diamond proving grounds on the mile 13 for the English time to see the work that they were doing. They took us to Firestone. They took us to Sears. Uh, we, we went to Grover, KTP, all of them. So, and they were only five of us. So we thought, okay, this is a you know, that's the way the theory feeling that I felt at that particular time. But my turning point was when I was in graduate tonight, yeah, that you were sitting right now. To my surprise, I was called to get my diploma in at the same time. They gave me a $200 award scholarship, you know, and I couldn't believe it. I was in denial. I had never applied for anything. I didn't know the word college and that I was going to go to college. Because the, what I had prepared for was for labor, manual labor. Okay? So, that night, you know, I went like crazy, my mom went crazy. They said, you don't want to call you. And I said, what? Yes, you got up to college, but you want to talk about it. Okay. So, to make it short, I went to you, two semesters to college. And probably I was getting fun, because I got all the air. And, you know, 
and he has said, and I took that jam with a seed, and I did not ask, what happened to you? Okay? So, and that, and that, I think he can look around and say, hey, uh, either I'm going to go back, I want to go away to the college, either I'm going to go back to my career, or I'm going to stay the boat. Well, I'm telling you that I really did not Tiene que seguir 
ellos en su forma de educarse para que, que sean un buen ciudadano para la necesidad de Laredo, para nuestro sur, para el Sábado Romero, el San Juanillo. ¡Arriba de todos! Muchas gracias y que Dios los bendiga. Thank you, Mr. Perez, for your inspiring words. I know that our students will remember your message for years to come. Next to address you is our leader of superintendent of schools, Dr. A. Marcus Nelson. Good evening. Members of the board of trustees, distinguished platform guests, family and friends who have joined us here in this special occasion, and the men and women of the hour, the graduating class of the Leo Sigaroa High School class of 2016. Before I make a few remarks, can we all please join and give a, a round of applause to a true servant of South Laredo, our keynote speaker, Mr. Jose Perez. What a great job he did. I don't have to tell you about his passion for his work, his service as a member of our board of trustees. He really is just a glimpse of seven outstanding members of our community that have taken the education that we come here to culminate and celebrate here tonight so very seriously. Before I make my remarks, I also wanted to recognize two other very special people. One of them, I don't even know his name, but as they say in the text message world, O-M-G. How about another round of applause for the young man that played the violin in the national anthem? Where is he? Stand up. Where is he? Man, that was crazy. You know, I tell my team all the time when we're working that, you know, perfection, nobody's perfect. You know, perfection is not something that you ever really attain. But for a few minutes there, as he was playing and I was getting goosebumps and starting to tear up, uh, it was perfect. It was beautiful. The last person I'd like to recognize, she really needs no introduction. See, you know, up here, we have a lot of important people. Our seven board of trustees, under the direction of our board president, Dr. Moreno, all seven of them, important. We had other important people up here. Members of the cabinet, CFO, chief of staff, student services, those people are important. They, they make a, a lot of money and they do a lot of good. You have other divas up here. They got their principals and their directors and counselors and God bless them because they're important. But one of the most important people in here right now, don't get me wrong because I love all 32 principals in the Laredo ISD, but the best principal in the Laredo Independent School District is Ms. Laura Flores. <laughs> and you know, I say that because she does deserve uh, the recognition for leading such a world-class caliber a group of teachers, counselors, and coaches. And uh, we don't always get along, just so y'all know. We're not sitting in the principal's office singing Kumbaya every time I come over there. But boy, I know this. Ms. Flores, the teachers that sit on these rows, your coaches and teachers and staff, assistant principals, without question, we love this class. We've watched these young men and women grow. How many of you, by show of hands, you have been in the Laredo Independent School District since you were in elementary school? See, for us, 
for us, the Board of Trustees and myself and Ms. Flores, the reason we put you in rows is because we really feel like we're delivering a product to the community. We're delivering on a promise of a quality education. And you've been taught rigorous educational standards that have been assessed by the state of Texas. And you've met mastery. All 332 of you. There's 17 of you that didn't make it. But you made it. You learn how to read. You learn how to write. Where is, uh, what's Izaguide's first name? Where is Leslie Izaguide? Stand up, Leslie. <laughs> Leslie, so you don't want me to tell it, but this is, this is an example of the kind of graduates that sit before you today. And if you know Leslie's story, Leslie's story begins in another country. And her family migrated to America chasing the promise of a quality education. When she got here, she couldn't speak a word of English. And you should listen to her speak today. She was just voted the top student in Webb County by the United States Border Patrol. She beat kids from United. She beat kids from Alexander. She beat kids from Nixon. She beat kids from Martin. And she was representing the South Side, Sigonola High School. And I could go on and on about all the wonderful accomplishments of this school. We've enjoyed watching you on our playing fields, on our stages, and in our classrooms. And we wish you the best as you commence on this next endeavor of your life. I would end by thanking your teachers and your staff for their hard work and dedication. The time and the effort and the commitment of the staff at Sigaroa is noticed. And as we celebrate and concentrate on the graduates, I need you to know that for us, the Board of Trustees and myself, how thankful we are for the adults at Sigaroa High School who have chosen to take educating the class of 2016 seriously. We look forward to all of your future endeavors. We understand that from today, many of you will go to every corner of the world. Many of you will pursue uh, post-secondary education at some of our country's finest universities, and we wish you well in those endeavors. But in addition to learning how to become bilingual and biliterate and competitive, we also hope you've learned what we call a hidden curriculum. See, you've learned an appreciation for hard work. And I don't know quite how to tell you this, I don't mean to sound unprofessional, but life is hard. There is no paved highway to success. And those of you that will be most successful will be those who seek and find ways to serve others. We wish you well. We're so proud to, to participate in your graduation ceremonies. And without question, you're more than the pride of the South Side, with all due respect to that. You, my friends, are the pride of the entire city of Laredo. You've taken care of business. You've earned this special day. And God bless the graduating class of 2016. Which is classic. Thank you, Dr. Nelson. And now, graduates, class of 2016 Toro graduates. And so your high school travel ends with a new beginning, here, with family and with friends, with us, and with you at your commencement. You have completed this part of your educational journey with a new beginning in sight. And as you go forth in your lives, 
and make your mark upon the world, it is our sincere hope that you carry the best of us, the best of the pride of South Laredo. The first step of this journey begins here. Reflect upon what you want your future to be. Ask yourself the questions that will enable you to achieve your goals. What do you want to do? Where do you see yourself as time passes? A year from now, five years from now. There are no limits to what you can achieve in this life. However, you may come across some obstacles in your adventures. If and when you do, do not fear them. Don't believe anyone who tells you that you cannot reach your dreams. You have gained the skills and knowledge to overcome the negative noise. Most importantly, stay focused on how your hard work, your dedication, and your persistence have led you and will lead you to accomplish your goals and make us total proud. The skills and knowledge that you have attained were created here at Dr. Leo G. Cigarroa High School. I want to make this very clear. The set of skills and information that your teachers have passed on to you, that you have studied, examined, acquired, to assist you in becoming the excellent young citizens sitting here today will no doubt allow you to succeed in whatever path you choose in life. I have had the most amazing opportunity to see you grow and develop into a group of outstanding young men and women, a special bond of affection for each and every one of you and your families has been created throughout the years. You have come to know me and my high expectations of you. You have discovered your potential and know what is expected of you. You graduates are like my children and you have a very special place in my heart. As I have told you many times, I insist on your success. Reflect this upon this last year, your senior year, and all the years it has taken you to be here today. It is not an end. It probably seems that it was just an instant ago that you were registering in August, and now here you are, about to finish one chapter and beginning a new one. You have accomplished this milestone and still have many more accomplishments to attain. Do not try to race to the finish line without losing sight of your goals. Make your way through by enjoying and experiencing life's many lessons along the way. Toro graduates, as you continue your travels, remember, you have the power to soar as high and as far as your heart desires. Use the wisdom that the teachers and staff of Dr. Leo G. Cigarroa High School wholeheartedly imparted to you. For the pride is in the Toros. Our pride is you. I say to you one last time with pride as a class before all who are gathered here to bear witness to this shiny moment of joy. Go Toros! Have a wonderful journey in life, and may God bless you. At this time, allow me to introduce our valedictorian and salutatorian. Our salutatorian for the Miley class of 2016 is Patricia Perez. Her parents are Ms. Lourdes Perez and Mr. Martin Perez. Dr. Nelson, will you please join me in placing the salutatorian sash?
Our valedictorian for the mighty class of 2016 is David Ivan Nunez. His mother is San Juanita Juarez and his father is Mr. Ruben Nunez. Dr. Nelson, again, please join me in placing the valedictorian staff. At this time, we have the Salutatorian's address by Patricia Perez. Sorry. Good evening, parents, school board members, daughter administration, faculty, and staff. Today is a special night, and all of you had a profound impact on the graduating class of 2016. Fellow classmates, we finally did it. Tonight, we are at the brink of graduation. And let me say, I am proud of all of you. From the time we were freshmen to now, we faced obstacles that crushed us, we overslept, underslept, or stayed up all night just to get something done. Being here today proves that our hard work and stress has paid off. It proves that no matter what the obstacle comes our way, we can push through it and accomplish our goals. Along the way, we've made memories. Memories that will follow us the rest of our lives. I know I won't forget sitting in the cafeteria with Jan and Stephanie, talking about a class and then asking, that was due today? All these memories have taught me to enjoy the little things in life the most. For example, playing Uno with Albert, Sophia, Jan, Stephanie, and Keanu right before the bell rings because we knew it was our last match of the year. Because we wanted to cherish those last few moments together as we should cherish little moments with our family members and friends. Don't take the little things for granted, guys. They just might mean the most. Lastly, but certainly not least, I want to thank our principal for all of her support given this year. To the teachers, parents, and families, you were instrumental in the shaping of the lives of Dr. Leo G. Figueroa, graduating class of 2016. To my band family, thank you for all of the memories we've shared together, see? <laughs> I wouldn't trade them, any of them, for a billion dollars. Eh, well. Yeah, ti, mamá y papá. Gracias por todo el apoyo que me han dado. Por siempre preguntando mi si acabe la tarea. No estaría aquí sin su motivación. Los quiero mucho. Congratulations, class of 2016. You are one person closer to receiving your diploma. Thank you, Patricia Perez. And at this time, we have the valedictorian's address by David Ivan Nunez. Good evening, honored guests, faculty, staff, family members, and friends gathered here today. Most of all, welcome, mighty total class of 2016. <laughs> to start off, I would like to thank Almighty God for giving me this incredible life for the past 18 years. It's been an awesome ride. 
Secondly, I would like to thank all my teachers and coaches that have struggled with me, challenged, encouraged, and most importantly, believed in me throughout my years in high school. All of you made a difference in my education, and for that, I can't thank you enough. Thirdly, I would like to thank my friends for always being there for me and making my elementary, middle, and high school years ones to remember. Thank you for always sticking by my side and never turning away from me. Last but not least, I would like to thank my wonderful parents who are sitting here next, sitting here next to me. Everything I've been able to do is because of you, and I can't thank you guys enough for everything. Through thick and thin, we've managed to stay together. I love you guys. Never forget that. Wow. It is an honor to be here on the podium making this speech for you all. Writing it was hard considering the fact that both of my parents were constantly arguing over whose name should be said first within the speech. <laughs> to add on, my eight-year-old brother was screaming his lungs out down the hall because he wanted in on it too. I said to myself, yeah, this is going to be a hard one for me. In order to avoid this situation, I left all their names out. You know I still love you. <laughs> As I went on writing, I started to think back on all the memories I had throughout my four years in high school. The energetic pep rallies, the educational field trips, the unpredictable baseball games, and those challenging exams we studied for 10 minutes before we took them. Yeah, all those memories were running through my head at the time. But I realized one thing, that's all we have left of high school, memories. While writing this speech, I would blank out a couple of times because there is no right or wrong way to write it. In life, there is no right or wrong answer. Yes, there will be people out there in the real world telling you that you will not be anyone in life, but those people were put into your life for a reason. Those people were put into everyone's lives to test how strong you are mentally and physically. Just remember, every single one of you will amount to something great in life. You all have the potential to be anything you want to be. It is up to you whether you want to obtain that goal or not. Mark Zuckerberg once said, a lot of the time, the, ep the experts, the people who are supposed to be able to tell you what to do, will tell you that you can't do something even though you know you can. And a lot of the times, it's your friends who tell you you can do it. Remember Aaron and Luis? In dual class with Mr. BG thought we couldn't pull off the presentation, yet it was so amazing we earned an A. Remember George and Robert? When we went up against a top-ranked team, yet we still gave them a run for their money. In life, you will always have people who will doubt you, but just remember those who stood by your side telling you you can. Look around you. In a few years, the one sitting next to you might not be there. A clever woman from the Chicago Tribune once said, get to know your parents. You never know when they'll be gone for good. Be nice to your siblings. They're the best link to your past and the people most likely to stick with you in the future. I like to add that true friends are the ones who know us and manage to stick with us anyways. Thank you guys. As of today, we start a new journey and make new memories with new people. We set new milestones that are even more challenging than those we set to accomplish in high school. We start a whole new chapter in our lives that will test us. It will push us to the limit make us cry, and even make us grow a few gray hairs here and there. But one thing's for sure, it will all be worth it. Those of us that sit and stand here today have gone through some tough times with everything that has gone throughout their high school years. Remember all those friendships lost because of petty arguments? Remember all those times that teachers would be furious with us because we wouldn't do our work? Remember all those times we, wouldn't, we just wanted to give up, but we didn't? Those are the times that have led us here to sit and stand, waiting anxiously to receive the piece of paper behind me that will open the doors in our future. There's so much to say, but I don't want to bore you all, so I'll just keep it short and sweet. Well, it's a little too late for that. Anyways, thank you all for making my high school years memorable. Whether we knew each other for only a few minutes, you still had, a few in you still had an impact in my life. 
we all had the courage and desire to go and do better things in our lives or we wouldn't be sitting here right now. Also, remember that any obstacle in your path is meant to go over, around, or through it. Whenever those tough times come back, just remember this moment, this moment of success and happiness that each and every one of you accomplished today. Everyone says it, and it's true. It's the little things that count. Waking up every morning and making your bed is the start of many tasks that lie in your way. By doing this, it will give you a small sense of accomplishment and pride. It will encourage you to do another task and another and another until you accomplish many tasks by the end of your day. And if by chance you happen to have a miserable day, you'll still come home to a made bed, a bed made by you. It is the little things that count. Without doing the little things right in life, you'll never be able to do the big things. As I conclude, I want to leave you all with a saying, a saying that has stayed in my heart. Wise Buddha once said, do not dwell in the past, do not dream in the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. Live your life till its fullest. Once you accomplish your goals, you will find true happiness. Within all of you, there is a spirit waiting to be released, a spirit that has been there all your life. Felicidades a todos los padres y demás familiares celebrando este gran acontecimiento. Dios lo bendiga a todos. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2016. We did it, guys. Have a wonderful evening. Be safe and God bless you all in your ever endeavors. Oh, and don't forget, go first. Five, five, five. Thank you, David Ivan Nunez. Students receiving Certificate of Merit, please form a line to my left as you will receive your certificate. I ask that you please remain standing on the platform. Mrs. Elizabeth Reese, Senior Counselor, will read the names. Number 17, Abby Roxanne Flores. Number 16, Luis Fernando Sanchez. Number 15, Juan Alejandro Madrigal. Number 14, Jessica Paulina Tijeros. Number 13, Yesenia Vivez Rios. Number 12, Leslie Hasmin Isaguirre. Number 11, Daniela Alejandra Ramon. Number 10, Rebecca Magaña. Number 9, Sofia Lorena Medina. Number 8, Ruby Asenet Amado. Number 7, Oscar Eliu Ortegón. Number six, Priscilla Ramos. Number five, Carlos Alvarado Jr. Number four, Valerie Hernandez. Number three, Patricia Perez, salutatorian for the class of 2016. Number two, Berta Leticia Gallegos. And number one, David Ivan Nunez, valedictorian for the class of 2016. Let's give our top scholars a round of applause.
At this time, I would like to present to you the Distinguished Achievement Scholars, DAP. These students are wearing a silver medal. Students, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. At this time, I would like to present to you the Distinguished Level of Achievement Scholars, DLA. These students are wearing a silver medal. Students, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. And students who are graduating under the recommended high school plan, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. At this time, I would like to recognize the students who have completed the dual enrollment program under House Bill 1. These students have earned 12 or more college credit hours. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. I would also like to recognize the students who have donated blood to the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center six times or more. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. In addition, I would like to recognize the students who are certified medical assistants. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. Also, I would like to recognize the students who receive certification through the Career and Technology Programs, our CTE students. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. Also, I would like to recognize the students who are certified income tax preparers and volunteer for the VITA program. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. Also, I would like to recognize Savas Perez Magnet Engineering students who earn national certification in engineering design solid work software. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. I would also like to recognize students who qualify to compete at the state level in various competitions. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. I would also like to recognize students who qualify to compete at the national level in various competitions. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. I would like to recognize the students that were part of the Superintendent's Advisory Council. Please stand and be recognized. 
Thank you. Please be seated. Students who are wearing a yellow cord are graduating with a GPA of 90 or higher. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. Next, I would like to recognize students who have earned 100 hours or more of community service. These students are wearing a white cord. Students, please stand and be recognized. Students who have earned 500 or more of community hours, please remain standing. Students who have earned 1,000 or more of community hours, please remain standing. Students who have earned 2,000 or more of community hours, please remain standing. And students who have earned 3,000 or more of community hours, please remain standing. Thank you. Please be seated. In addition, I would like to recognize our students from the Salas Perez Engineering and Technology School. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. And the students from the Vidal M. Trevino Magnet School of Fine Arts, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. And the students from the Dr. Dennis D. Cantu Health Science Magnet, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. Dr. Nelson, I am now ready to present to you the Mighty Toro Class of 2016. Will you please join me to certify the graduates? I, Laura Flores, as principal of Dr. Leo G. Cigarroa High School, proudly present and certify to the Laredo Independent School District Board of Trustees and Dr. A. Marcus Nelson, Superintendent of Schools, that all the candidates before you have met the graduation requirements of the state of Texas, the Texas Education Agency, as well as those of the Laredo Independent School District, and as such are entitled to receive their high school diploma. I present to you the graduates of 2016. Dr. Nelson, will you accept my recommendation and certify the class? With the authority vested in me by the Laredo Independent School District Board of Trustees, and the Texas Education Agency and the United States Department of Education. I certify that the members of the graduating class of 2016 who have completed all graduation requirements are hereby proclaimed graduates in the great state of Texas with all rights and privileges. Graduates, you may move your tassels to the left. Congratulations. You may be seated. At this time, we are now ready for the most important event of the afternoon. Diplomas will now be distributed by members of the Board of Trustees of the Laredo Independent School District, and the graduates' names will be read by Mr. Omar Gonzalez and Mrs. Diana Cantu. going to get 
give up. Uh, yes. <laughs> No, we're taking them out. <laughs> Maria Acosta, DAP. Melissa Rivera. Isabel Alicet Aguilar. Betsy Anaí Esquivel. Ana Iris Aguilar Cruz. Francisco Ramon López, with honors. Martín Aguillón, DLA. April Sedina Sánchez. Daniel Federico Alarcón. Esmeralda Alcazar. Carlos Alfredo Alonso, DLA. Fernando Alonso. Andrea Alejandra Alvarado, DLA. Carlos Alvarado Jr., DLA, with high honors. Yosvani Alvarado, DAP. Jose Alberto Alvarez, DLA. Kimberly Alvarez. Ruby Asenet Amaro, DLA, with high honors. Salvador Amaton, DAP. Bartolo Antonio. Brittany Samantha Armendares, DLA. Carla Denise Arriaga, DLA. Abigail Auces, DAP. Eusebio Tadeo Avalos. Maria Avalos, DAP. Jared Banda. Juan Bernardo Bañuelos, DLA. Jorge Alberto Barrios. Priscilla Barron. Carla Blanco. Misael Blanco. Gladys Vianey Bustamante, DAP. Román Bustos in absentia. René Daniel Cabrera Morales. Alexis Cabello. Kadisha Callahan, DLA. With honors. Josue Cadena, DLA. Alexis Ruby Cane, DLA, in absentia. Victoria. Sorry. Guadalupe Elizabeth Camacho. Leslie Yvette Campos, DLA. 
Manuel Reinaldo Canales Jr. Victoria Marie Cardenas, DLA, with honors. Maria Guadalupe Cardenas. Juan Francisco Carrion, in absentia. Crystal Arlene Carrillo, with honors. Moises Irán Carranza, DLA. Josué Gabriel Casas, DLA. Saúl Héctor Carrión. Jonathan Samuel Castillo, DLA. Ricardo Carrillo, DLA. Adrián Alejandro Castro, Jr. Andrés Castañeda, DLA. Alejandro Cepeda. Juan José Castillo. Ana Karen Lisset Chavez, DAP, with honors. Gabriel Castro, Jr. Victor Adrián Chavez. Jorge Chapa III, DAP. Florinda Isabel Contreras. Leslie Corinne Chavez. Lizeth Gabriela Cortez, DAP. Valentina Cisneros. Daisy Covarrubias, DAP. Jacob Cortez. Ana Yvette Cruz, with honors. Marco Antonio Cortez III, DLA. James Cruz II, DLA, with honors. Alan Bernardino Cruz. With honors. Job Cruz, DLA. Brianna Marie Cruz, DAP, with honors. Miguel Cruz, DAP. Jesus Alexis Cruz, DAP, with honors. Mireya Mary Lou De Anda, DAP. Jordi Cruz, DLA. Jocelyn De La Cruz, DAP. Kimberly Cuellar, DAP, with honors. Priscilla Michelle De La Cruz, DLA. Esmeralda De Hoyos, DAP. Emilio Andres De Leon, DLA, with honors. Leonardo De La Cruz. Delilah Chanel Diaz, DAP, with honors. Oscar De La Rosa. Stephanie Dominguez. Carla Paola De Leon, DAP, with honors. Leslie Eguia. 
Miguel Ángel Díaz Jr. Norma Leticia Esparza. Pedro Durón. Sandra Guadalupe Espinosa. Ivet Eguía, DAP. Adelina Estrada, DLA. Jorge Miguel Espino. Abby Roxanne Flores, DAP, with high honors. Ronaldo Espinosa. Carlos Alberto Flores Jr., DAP. Juan Estrada Jr., with honors. Darlene Michelle Flores, DLA. Abraham Dallas Flores, DLA. Berta Leticia Gallegos, DAP, with high honors. Daniel Flores, DAP, with honors. Gael Gamboa, DLA. Luis Alexis Frausto, DAP, with honors. Alina Faith Garcia, DAP. Jasmine Galvan, DLA. Fernando Garcia, DLA. Stephanie Gamboa, DAP, with honors. Jason Anthony Garcia. Aurea Teresa Garcia, DAP, with honors. Manuel Garcia Jr., DLA. Gabriela Angelica Garcia. Javier Alejandro Garibaldi Jr. Kimberly Precious Garcia, DNA. Edgar Eduardo Garza. Abraham Garcia Silva, DLA, in absentia. Brianna Lisette Garza, DLA. Alexis Alfredo Gomez, DLA. Alejandra Gomez, DAP. Michelle Leanne Gomez. Evelyn Del Pilar Gomez. Raúl Gómez Jr., DLA. Miguel Ángel Gómez. Brenda Emily González. Arturo González III, DLA. Cynthia Yanet González, DAP. Carla Joanna Gonzalez. Miguel Angel Gonzalez. Dalisa Gonzalez, DAP, with honors. Oriana Isabel Gonzalez, DLA. Roberto Gonzalez the third, DLA. Federico Guardiola, DLA. 
Brianna Nicole Guajardo, DAP. Lucero Guerrero. Amber Denise Guerra, DAP, with honors. Luis Miguel Gutierrez, DLA. Jaciel Alexander Guillen, DLA, with honors. Carla Dalila Guzman, DAP. Maximiano Derli Gutierrez III. Jesus Hector Hernandez Jr., with honor. Analí Hernandez, DLA. Mario Alberto Hernandez, in absentia. Christopher Hinojosa, DLA. Luis Arturo Hernandez. Alejandra Inguanzo, DLA. Valeria Hernandez, DAP, with high honors. Jose Julian Izaguirre. Eliandro Valentin Hidrogo. Brenda Jacobo, in absentia. Denise Adriana Caso. Jessica Lee Inocencio, DAP. Marcela Juarez. Leslie Izaguirre, DAP, with high honors. Cassandra Lee Landa, DAP, with honors. Ronnie Jacobo. Daniel Tomás Lara, DLA, with honors. Jesús D. Juárez, DLA. Adam López. Yulisa Juárez, DLA. Daniel Sebastián López. Claudia Isabel Lara, DLA. Cristina Loredo, DLA, with honors. Abigail Lopez, DAP. Juan Alejandro Madrigal, DAP, with high honors. Alberto Lopez, DAP, with honors. Ashley Priscilla Manriquez, DAP. Roberto Lopez III, DAP, with honors. Cassandra Martinez, DAP, with honors. Ruby Esmeralda Macias, DAP. Juan Martinez. Rebecca Isamar Magaña, DAP, with high honors. Cassandra Martinez. Andres Arturo Martinez. DAP with honors in absentia. Francisco Jesus Martinez, DLA. Ana Teresa Mata, DAP with honors. Juan Jesus Martinez, DAP. Rosa Mata, DAP. Mary Ann Martinez, DAP, with honors. Kay 
Leila Nicole Medina, DLA. Daniel Mata. Verónica Medina, DLA. Jasmine Esmeralda Medina, DAP, with honors. Karina Mejia. Sofia Lorena Medina, DAP, with high honors. Isela Melendez, DLA. Jonathan Medrano, in absentia. Sandra Sarai Melendez. Pablo Antonio Méndez. Josué Abraham Méndez. Arlene Mendoza, DAP. Roberto Méndez Jr., in absentia. Daniel Alejandro Mendoza. Joanna Jacqueline Mendoza, DAP. Vanessa Mendoza. Héctor Enrique Molina. Samantha Michelle Morales, DLA, with honors. Amy Morales Salazar, DAP. Megan Alisa Moreno. Sergio Antonio Moreno. Daniel Muñoz. Christian Martin Narvaez, DLA. Lisa Marie Navarro, DLA. Dalia Viridian Nieto Zapata. Ham Yered Nino, DLA, with honors. David Ivan Nunez, DAP, Valedictorian, with highest honors. Yesenia Olgui, DLA. Spring Olivares. Ariana Olvera Lagunes, DLA. Nelly Mar Orona, DLA, with honors. Jose Domingo Ortegón. Oscar Eliud Ortegón, DLA, with high honors. Edwin Ortiz, DLA. Cassandra Esther Padilla. Samantha Padilla, DAP. Andres Padron, DAP, with honors. Esmeralda Palacios, DAP, with honors. Gilberto Joaquin Palacios, DLA. Priscilla Palacios, DLA. Luis Edgardo Pardo. Cassandra Patlan, DLA, in absentia. Ricardo Perales, DLA. Salma Annette Pedraza. Leonardo Edgar Perez. Joel Perez Jr. Ernesto Alonso Pescador, DLA.
Patricia Perez, DAP, Salutatorian with Highest Honors. Diana Lucero Quiroz, DAP, with Honors. Rafael Quintero Jr., DAP, with Honors. Jose Ramirez, DLA. Eric Edmundo Quiroz. Karina Ramirez. Juan Pablo Ramirez, DLA. Laura Lecel Ramirez. Laura Berenice Ramirez, DLA. Daniela Alexandra Ramon, DAP, with high honors. Nelsi Yadira Ramirez. Roman Alonso Ramos, DLA. Priscilla Ramos, DAP, with high honors. Zulema Adelaida Rangel, DLA, with honors. Humberto Rangel. Rosa Isela Renovato, DAP, with honors. Flor Estela Renovato, DAP, with honors. Misael Reyes, DAP. Mariela Resendiz, DAP, with honors. Jeff Riley. Jacob Reina. Juan Pablo Rivera. Yesenia Libet Rios, DAP, with high honors. Anaí Rocha, DAP, with honors. Naomi Robles, DAP. Esmeralda Rodríguez, DLA, with honors. Carlos Rodríguez. Israel Rodríguez. Eudelio Rodríguez. Juan José Rodríguez Jr., DLA, with honors. James Rodríguez. Litsi Esmeralda Rodríguez, DAP. Carla Elizabeth Rodríguez. Telma Verónica Rodríguez, DAP. Luis Ángel Rodríguez Jr., DLA, with honors. Brian Ethan Romero, DLA. Natali Janet Rodríguez Delgado. Jasmine Ruiz, DLA. Isaura Rocío Ruiz, DAP. Ricardo John Ruiz Jr., DAP. Jesús Ruiz Jr., DLA. Carissa Marie Sainz. David James Sainz, DLA. Miriam Iridian Salinas, DAP, with honors. Juan Jose Salas. Arianda Giselle Sanchez, DLA. Leroy San Miguel, DAP. 
Luis Fernando Sanchez, DAP, with high honors. Lilibeth Sanchez. Brisa Sanes. Wenceslao Sanchez Jr. Martin Santellano. Stephanie Maria Sangerman Gutierrez, DAP, with honors. Miguel Angel Santos, DLA. Ashton Yosvani Santos, DLA. Marco Antonio Saucedo. Stephanie Saravia, DAP, with honors. Yulisa Saucedo Estrada, DLA. Maria de Los Angeles Saucedo, DAP. Angélica Segueda. Andrew Servin, with honors. Audrey Janelle Solis. Jasmine Asenet Silva. Roberto Solis Jr., DLA, with honors. Raul Solis IV. Eloy Eduardo Soto, DLA, with honors. Rogelio Solis, DLA. Keanu Suarez, DLA. Christian Armando Soto Lopez. Benito Tejas Jr., DLA. Laurencio Javier Zúñiga. Jessica Paulina Tijeros, DLA, with high honors. Vicente Terrones, DLA. Crystal Guadalupe Torres. Stephanie Tinoco, DAP. Adolfo Tobar. Lorian Torres. Stephanie Trejo, DLA. Ashley Nayeli Trejo, DAP. Carlos Treviño. Armando Treviño. Jonathan Arthur Vallejo. Iram Seir Treviño, DLA. Sandra Judith Vasquez. Alan Vasquez Jr. Verónica Guadalupe Vela. Perla Joanna Vela. George Bellis Jr., DLA. Victoria Arlette Vela, DLA. Anali Vidales, DLA. Matilda Margarita Vélez, DLA. Francisco Antonio Villanueva, DLA. Juan Luis Villagómez, DLA. Cassandra Yaritza Villanueva, DLA. Jonathan Villanueva, DLA. Valerie Villarreal.
Joel Anthony Villarreal, DLA. Jesus Teodoro Irregas Jr., DLA. Adamari Lizeth Iruegas, DAP. Miguel Guadalupe Samarripa, DLA. Aaron Gerardo Samarripa, DAP. Hugo Ernesto Zamora, DLA. Eduardo Aaron Zambrano, DAP. Jesús Antonio Zapata, DLA. Kerry Damian Zamora, DLA, with honors. Pedro Alberto Zuniega, DAP, with honors. Jose Manuel Zavala, Jr., DLA, with honors. Closing this memorable ceremony, I would like to thank all parents, district personnel, Cigarroa High School faculty and staff for joining us this evening. This concludes Dr. Leo G. Cigarroa High School commencement exercises for June of 2016. At this time, I ask for everyone to please stand for our mighty Toro Band plays our alma mater and fight song. <laughs>